Hello and welcome back to Bonex Investment Group and today I'm going to give you a very simple strategy that anyone can follow but yet so powerful. But before we jump into the war video, please make sure you check out our free signals telegram channel, the link is right below. If you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button as well as checking the notification bell icon so that you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. So today we are going to be talking about a strategy called the H1 EMA Bounce. It's a very simple strategy which only requires at most two indicators which are 1, 50 EMA. By EMA I mean exponential moving average applied to close. Then the 200 exponential moving average applied to close as well so if you have been following this channel for a long time i'm sure you've seen that or observed that i mostly use these two moving averages these are actually my favorite indicators so the only thing that you'll be looking for is to see a crossover of these two emas but we do not enter at the crossover we wait for price to come back and bounce on the 200 EMA. So I'd love to, to use 50 uh, in blue, then 200 in white. These are the styles of display that I love. And uh, the parameters are the stop loss. On the stop loss, we put 30 pips. Then on the take profit, we put 100 pips so basically this ratio gives us a, a greater odds of winning why because we have a greater risk reward to risk ratio it's approximately 3.3 to 1 so this means for every win we can cover uh, three consecutive losses that we would have encountered before so I'm going to to backtest this uh, strategy over a series of 10 trades and uh, see how it goes and uh, you can actually follow up or backtest any other asset any other tradable asset you might have i'll be doing so on euro against dollar and uh, let's jump right over the charts so this is euro against dollar and as you can see uh right here it was in november 2020 that is where i'm going to 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 mark out the points whereby we were going to enter the market right so i will be marking the points of entry using an ellipse so that we we see clearly where we were going to enter so the parameters of entry are the first step is to see the 5200 cross that's the locking factor or the point that actually tells us where the trend is now going. So the first step is to see blue and white uh, crossing, which is uh, 50 uh, in blue and 200 in white. So after that, we have to see price bounce on the 200 EMA or price touch. For a very, very, very sniper entry, we can enter on the price touch. That, is, that means you can actually enter while the candle that is touching the 200 EMA still in play. So, as you can see, we had our 250 cross here and we had a price touch here. So, this was our first entry. And from this first entry, we can see that uh, we had a hit on our stop loss. Let's check out from this point. We said 30 pips and this was a move against us of 39 pips. So that was a loss. Right. Then our second entry 
was here where we saw another price target the trend is still up why because we still have a bullish lock so after that we enter at price touch so this couldn't take us out therefore our trade managed to hit 100 pips let's check so that you may see how much 100 pips would look like so 100 pips was at this point therefore our trade number two was a win right we had another price touch at this point as you can see another h1 price touch with maximum discipline we we're going to wait for the only trades that we have been right another hundred pips so it's now two out uh, two out of three trades then after that we had another price touch here right so we have to check if we were going to be taken out or not 30 pips stop loss this wasn't going to take us out therefore we were in the trade and another another hundred pips going up so after that at this point we have one two three four trades and so far we lost one trade then whilst waiting for another touch we may have entered this touch let's uh mark it out as well because it's also a touch then at 50 pips or at 50 percent of our target we have to put our stop loss to the entry level so this where we're we going to hit our 100 pips yes we were going to hit our 100 pips so after that the trend now informed us that we have changed the direction as you can see the lock now showed us we are now in a bullish rush so from this point we had a touch here the first touch was at this point and very fine for our take profit we were definitely going to hit a hundred pips actually exceeding it so at this point we might have wanted to end at this touch when back testing you should be transparent by yourself right this was a touch and we were not we weren't seeing this part because this was future on this day so at this point let's see how it went from the touch of the 200 ema we had we reached 50, 60, 66 pips and our stop loss was now at entry so it was a scratch since the price moved back to take out the stop loss at entry then after that the market also gave us another cross so the cross should have a flow uh, actually after a crossover you should see a flow of the market and then a clear pull back to the touch right so after that we had this uh, clear pull flow and then a pullback of the market to touch the EMA and another 100 pips was issued right from there we had another touch at this point right let's check how many pips were we going to hit at this point it was uh,
around 70 pips and we were taken uh, at entry i have forgotten this touch because we were going to enter this touch since all this was future and this was going to take us out so we now have uh, two losses and uh, two scratches so after that we had uh, this scratch out then uh, at this point you can see that we did not have flow the EMAs quickly uh, crossed again and we are going to skip this trade why because of our rule to wait for a clear pullback as well as clear flow after the, the, the crossover there was no clear flow after the crossover so we were definitely going to, to wait to wait and end at this point which i am going to mark out right from this touch you can see we had another 100 pips right so going forth the trend changed at this point and we had another touch so we are going to change the color of uh, losses for a loss we are going to have it in in black right then for the scratch we had uh, this was a win a win a win a win a win this was a scratch which is that trade which closed at uh, at entry so i will use bring for those trades then a win and was this this was a, a scratch So these were the trades that we took and uh, of all the trades we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then out of 12 trades we had uh, so our, our we had uh, two losses therefore that was 60 pips. So we are going to say 12 multiplied by 100, that would be, uh, sorry, we are going to say 2 multiplied by, by 30 pips, which is our take profit, our stop loss, which is 60. Then we had uh, uh, 8 correct since 2 is scratches. So 8 by 100, it becomes 800. Uh, 800 uh, minus the 60 pips who have 740 pips so this is what we were going to get out of uh, trading this strategy which is uh, 740 pips using a standard lot that was going to be seven thousand dollars so basically that is what you'll be doing and as you saw that uh, forex is all about patience and uh, having something you're looking for in the market. It doesn't matter how many uh, losses that you've encountered or how many uh, wins that you've encountered. The, 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 the most important thing is uh, to keep following your strategy and uh, to make sure you don't lose your focus whilst in the process.
so that was uh, it uh, that I had today you may check out some more pairs and uh, try to use this strategy or try to add it in your asset guide of strategies have a good day and check out our free signals telegram channel thank you for watching